I'm pretty excited to be here with you today and being able to say that for the first time in, I don't even know how long, the Yamaha Mountain Max now has a two-stroke back under its hood. Yeah, don't hit rewind, you heard me right. This is a Yamaha Mountain Max 154 with an 800cc two-stroke. Also available in a 165-inch option, the Mountain Max is back and it's light and it's wonderful and it's the way a Mountain Max should be. And while you might wonder just how much cool technology has made its way into the sled, let me tell you, it's not some second-rate skid frame or engine. It's the latest and greatest and I, for one, am very excited about these new sleds. I'll be testing the 154 Mountain Max today, and truthfully, there's only two options for Mountain Maxes in 2021. There's no engine choices, there's no lug depth choices. You get all the goods on two different models. This 154 is a 2.6 inch lug, and when you go for 165, you get the three inch of goodness. So there's no shortage of snow moving, shoveling action with either sled, but it's what's wrapped inside the track that truly changes the game for Yamaha mountain riders. Yes, this is a single beam rear suspension. And yes, it's very cool. And yeah, it's crazy good in the snow. The fact that the track can flex to an insane degree makes this one of the easiest, well, scratch that, this is the easiest sled to get on edge and stay there. It's truly so user-friendly, it makes you a better mountain rider and requires far less effort. Along with being insanely functional, it also soaks up the bumps out back pretty darn well thanks to some high quality dampers. The Center Fox QS3 and rear QS3 L shocks are here to take a beating and are super easy to adjust, no matter how much snow gets packed in the rear skid or how frozen things look. And because it's QS3, it's simple. Three stages of compression adjustability, soft, medium, and firm. And while the adjustment is simple, the quality is not. These Fox shocks are some of my favorite in the industry, not simply for the ease of use, but for the incredible compliance and dramatic change in damping in a simple to use glove friendly clicker. Okay, so the rear skid is great. Likewise, the track is also, but the real big news for Yamaha buyers here is obviously an 800cc two stroke. This 794cc semi-direct injection two stroke might be the smallest in the big iron two stroke mountain game, but don't let that fool you. By no means is it at a disadvantage. The power produced is angry, strong, and very snappy. In fact, all of our staff felt that this motor is one of the most snappy and quick revving of all the big bore two strokes available. And the mid range of this engine is strong and robust. Is it the cleanest? No. Is it the most efficient? Same answer. But at the end of the day, it's very respectable contender and doesn't leave me wanting. The stance on this sled is the standard 36 inch mountain width and the front dampers, they're equally as good as the ones out back. 1.5-inch body QS3s come standard up front and deliver excellent compliance on the trail up the hill, but when you pull off into the powder and want to play, you're only a click or two away from heavier compression that's ready for whatever you throw at it. The mountain-specific skis are great at carving through the powder, and when you pull the Max onto its side and want to hook a bit of powder, there's no hesitation here. One thing I really appreciate about the shorter lug, shorter track 154 is the playful nature that it exhibits. While big tracks and deep lugs have their place, I feel shorter length mountain sleds do also, and the playful side of things is a great spot for this 154 Mountain Max. Getting the skis up is effortless thanks to the snappy response of the team industry's clutches and the 800cc power, and when I want to leave the ground behind and launch the Max, the shorter length single beam skid frame is so easy to shred a wind lip or a powder pillow and feels at home doing this kind of riding. Would a three inch benefit? Yeah, sure at times, but the 2.6 cam sole power claw is adequate for the 54. 
There are a lot of other features and benefits to the Mountain Max, from the included 20-inch tunnel bag to store your extra gear, to the upper gauge area for goggles, you've got lots of extra space for your stuff, as well as a lightweight disc brake to help keep things lighter. As for weight, we don't have the numbers yet, but I can say from my experience riding this sled, it feels really light. It's great to see Yamaha back in the mountain market, and more importantly, back in the two-stroke game, place that they need to be. And when you're in the mountains, two strokes, well, they're the only way to roll. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.